Garrett Augustus Morgan was an African-American inventor and community leader. On March 4, 1877, Morgan was born in Claysville, an African-American community outside of Paris, Kentucky to Sidney Morgan, a son and former slave of Confederate Colonel John H. Morgan, and Elizabeth Reed. Possessing a sixth-grade education from Branch Elementary School in Claysville, Morgan moved at the age of 16 to Cincinnati, Ohio in search of employment. In 1895, he moved to Cleveland, Ohio where he began repairing sewing machines for a clothing manufacturer. This experience with repairing sewing machines was the impetus for Morgan's interest in how things work. His first invention, developed during this period, was a belt fastener for sewing machines. Garrett Morgan invented a safety hood smoke protection device after seeing firefighters struggling from the smoke they encountered in the line of duty. He was the subject of a newspaper feature in Cleveland, Ohio for a heroic rescue in 1916 of workers trapped within a water intake tunnel 50 feet beneath Lake Erie. He performed his rescue using a hood fashioned to protect his eyes from smoke and featuring a series of air tubes that hung near the ground to draw clean air beneath the rising smoke. This enabled Morgan to lengthen his ability to endure the inhospitable conditions of a smoke-filled room. Other inventions of Morgan's include the development of a chemical for hair straightening. Morgan is also credited as the first African-American in Cleveland to own an automobile. The first American-made automobiles were introduced to consumers just before the turn of the 20th century. Pedestrians, bicycles, animal-drawn wagons and motor vehicles all had to share the same roads. To deal with the growing problem of traffic accidents, a number of versions of traffic signaling devices began to be developed starting around 1913. Morgan had witnessed a serious accident at an intersection, and he filed a patent for a traffic control device having a third warning position in 1922. The patent was granted in 1923, though this was not the first system with a warning. A three-light system being invented in 1920 by William Potts, and previous systems having audible warnings. Morgan sold the rights to General Electric for $40,000. He died on July 27, 1963 at the age of 86, and is buried at Lakeview Cemetery in Cleveland.